Now that we've got Wayne moving with input and output keyboard controls, we want to add the ball in um, and make that move around on its own. So that's what we're going to look at next. Um, you're going to need to add a new sprite to your stage here. So click the new, choose new sprite from file button and you should get this menu here. I'm going to use costumes and things and pick your ball. Um, here we go. I'm going to use that one and click OK. And in it goes. Now, making sure I've got it selected up here, I'm going to give it a sensible name. There we are. And now I'm going to start adding my script bricks to make it move around. So, control when the green flag is clicked, motion. Actually, I want this to happen forever, so I'm going to use a forever loop. And inside that, I'm going to put move 10 steps. There we go. So when I click the green flag, the ball will move 10 steps. But when it gets to the edge, we want something to happen. And there's a handy if on edge bounce command that you can put in. So now you can see that the ball is moving left to right like that but it makes for a particularly dull game just one quick thing you might want to make your ball a little smaller so up here is the shrink sprite tool click on that once and then click on your ball until it shrinks to the size that you want there we go then click anywhere else on the screen to get back to your selection arrow so I might want to make my ball start from the same place every time so again I'll drag it to where I want it to start from somewhere towards the middle and outside the forever loop I will put go to x equals what 0 y equals 0 that's the very middle this is y equals 150 so I'm going to change that to make it further at the top start further at the top so let's see there we go that looks okay to me and now I'm going to put in point in direction and go to operators and choose pick random drop that in we're going to use um, 90 to 269 here because we want the ball to pick a random direction but point downwards before it starts moving so let's have a little look there we go and you'll see if I click the green flag again, it should start off firing off at random downwards angles. There we go. So we've got the ball bouncing around the screen on its own. Once your ball does this, move on to the next vid.